La seconde question s'adresse au docteur Portugal. Donc, vous êtes le modèle, vous êtes le meilleur élève européen, puisque nous savons tous, vous êtes champion d'Europe en matière de taux, vaccin, de, de, taux de vaccination. Alors, en janvier 2022, c'était près de 98%. Et aujourd'hui aussi, vous êtes euh, le champion d'Europe en matière de contamination Covid. Donc, la question, c'est comment vous expliquez euh, ces résultats, notamment après la quatrième dose Et euh, j'irai plus loin. Est-ce qu'à un moment, euh, on compte s'interroger sur l'efficacité de ces vaccins ou est-ce trop tabou Et aussi non, s'interroger sur peut-être un problème d'effet négatif sur le système immunitaire des vaccinés. Je vous remercie. Thank you very much. A very relevant question. And of course, the, the first thing that the first thing we always uh, need to say is being humble. And we know that we don't know all the story at this moment. We need to have some time to better understand what are the phenomena is going on here. But I can tell you um, from the vaccination point of view that, for instance, last, uh, for the last two months, death mortality for the people with the second booster with 80 and more years of age, nobody died. And comparing to uh, a percentage of lethality of 9.5% of people not vaccinated with the same age during this period. Or, for instance, the people with the same age that got uh, the f just the first booster, not the second one, they had a, a lethality of 1.7% and compared with is nil for the second booster or 9.5% of lethality with no vaccine. There is an effect here without any doubt. However, it does mean that if you have a very high level of a, a very high incidence of the, 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 the disease or the transmission of the disease within the group, It means that even the lethality is a very low one, but the numbers are very high, you have mortality. Which you are right. It looks, and everybody said that still now, which means that we still need, and we hope we are going to have by the end of this, this year, a new vaccine that will also have a good effectiveness for the new variants, which we didn't know, have it by now. So the difference might be that the new vaccine that we're going to get by the end of the year will be accomplished in good effectiveness for the Omicron, uh, and we hope that we'll have much better results, as we wish, all of us. Thank you.